Dupree, you're here because you say if you cannot resolve your paternity dispute, your 13-year relationship with the defendant is on the brink of ending. You're here to prove that he is the father of your four-month-old twin, Sky and Skylar, and you're hoping to save your family. Is that correct? Yes. Mr. Flagg, you say you were devastated when just four days ago the plaintiff confirmed your suspicion. She cheated on you with an ex during the time of conception. You claim your family's future is at risk and state you plan to leave her if the DNA results prove you are not the twin's biological father. Is that correct? Yes. So, Ms. Dupree, is yes, he or is he not your children's yes, father? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, he, he is. is. Yes, he is. The... You're positive. Yes. We've been together for 13 years off and on from high school, and we had practically planned this whole thing. And he stayed with me for like eight months out of my apartment. So we've been together, and all we did is basically play house the whole time. So high school sweethearts. Yes. And you all were even living together at some point. Yes, Your Honor. And so when these children were conceived, did you live together? Yes, Your Honor. You did. And you say you know he's your children's father because of what, the amount of time you spent together? Yes. Also, I had two miscarriages through this. We, we planned it. And all of a sudden, when I get pregnant, you want to say that you are not the father. Mr. Flagg, so you've been with this woman since high school? Yes, Your Honor. And so when you find out she's pregnant... When I first found out, Your Honor, I was happy. You were? Take your time. This is what this is about. We're trying to get to the truth about the twins and their paternity. So, when you found out, did you initially have that feeling like, I'm going to be a father? Or did you feel like, I might be a father? I have feel like I, I might be, be the father. Did he express this feeling to you when you told him you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor, but he, he, had, he, been telling, he was telling me I was pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? During around my birthday time, October the 15th, he was like, you're pregnant, you don't need to be partying, you don't need to be angry like that because you're pregnant. And I didn't believe him. I just, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't believe him until I took the test and that's when I found out. He's the one told me and he was having a morning sickness and sleeping and eating, he told me. So you were having the pregnancy sy symptoms? Yes, Your Honor, because, it, it, yes, it, 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 is, it is kind of strange, but yes, No, I, you hear I, I about was. that, that the men feel the symptoms as well. So, so you started feeling symptoms of pregnancy. Yes. And you said to her, I think you might be pregnant. Yes. So why wouldn't you believe they were yours? Because I had doubts, Your Honor. I had found the, the real truth like two, like two days ago. When... So tell me what you heard two days ago. What did you hear exactly? Well, Your Honor, she had told me the truth about her ex-boyfriend. She did? Yes. What did she say? She had told me she was uh, sleeping with him. She was. Yeah. And I was, I was, yeah, I was mad. I had to calm myself down and just go outside and just, just cool my head and just... So just two days ago, you found out that she had slept with her ex. Now, let me ask you this. Was it during the window of time when your twins were conceived? Yes, ma'am. Is that true, Ms. Dupree? No, I told him that because I was mad at him. We was arguing at the time about whether he was the father or not. So you just told him? Because we was arguing and whatever, and I was trying to get back at him because he, was, he, was, he cheated on me, and I was trying to get back at him. He's the one that's been cheating, Your Honor. So out of revenge, you just told him I cheated on you with my ex? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Flagg, when did your doubt begin? Well, Your Honor, you know, when I was on my way home to her, right, one day. I'm coming home, I'm happy. I, I step in the house. The whole house smell like sex, Your Honor. Oh. And so, so when I go on towards the bedroom, her hair messed up. I want to hear this story. Look around the house, everything's straight. But when I got to my, uh, the bedroom, like on the side of the bed, it's some shoes. Some shoes? Yeah. So I'm looking at the shoes Your Honor, that's and not looking true. at my size. Your Honor, I'm looking at my size of shoes, so I'm going to say like this. These are my shoes. They, they are eight. Eight and a half. These are not my shoes. These are 11 or 13 size. You saw some big shoes next to your bed? Yes. And clearly, if you're a size eight, they aren't your shoes. I don't wear a size 11, 12, Your Honor. I wear a size eight, eight So and you half. see these shoes? I had asked her, whose shoes are they? She like, 
It don't matter. Don't just leave it alone. I'm like, what you mean, leave it alone? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Did you say it didn't matter, Mr. Free? Yes, when you saw these shoes and said, who's yes, shoes? Your Honor. So he did see the shoes. Yes, he did. They were big shoes. They was big shoes. And they were by the side of the bed. <laughs> yes. And they, they weren't his. They weren't his, Your Honor. They was my friend, the boyfriend, because they both came over. So and so's boyfriend was yes. by the bed? No. I have a one bedroom apartment. The bathroom was inside my bedroom. They both took a shower at my house because, like, just visiting and staying with me. So her boyfriend didn't have enough time to go home, drop her off and go home and get ready for work. So she asked me, can he get, get ready for work there? I said, sure. So he came and took a shower. He put his work boots on and left his shoes there. Why not just tell this story and say, don't worry about it? Yeah. Yeah. Then, that's, that's true. Because I should have told him, but it was... I mean, let's just be honest. Yes. But if Your it's Honor. that innocent and it's no big deal, then it's, well, you know, I was so mad so at... boyfriend was over here and he changed before Excuse he went to work. Honor. Those are his shoes. Why are they by the bed? I just ain't moving and she didn't move them. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Two days ago, Mr. Flagg, she told you she had slept with her ex. Yes. And so... Is he a bigger guy that would have bigger shoes like that? Well, I never met the man, Your Honor. So, Do you know what he looks like? No, I really don't. But I did ask her, can I uh, smell her? Uh... I'm going to say that I just understood the testimony and not have you repeat that. So you asked to smell her body because you felt like the house smelled like sexual intercourse had taken place imminently. Yeah. Did she allow you to do that? No. <laughs> okay. So then that led you to believe what? She was cheating you, Ernie. Mr. Pree, what was going on? Did it smell like sex? Yes, Were it you... did, Your Honor. It, it did? From my friend and her boyfriend. So then why was your hair messed up? Because I came in, I went to sleep. Wait, but you said it's a one-bedroom apartment. Yeah, I went to sleep when but they got Honor. in the shower. When they got in the shower? Yes, I went to sleep. You went to sleep in the same bed where no, they, they weren't in the my shoes? Bed. No, they weren't in my bed. Your Honor, she had told me, she admitted to tell me her boyfriend was there, her ex-boyfriend was there. So did you admit that your ex-boyfriend was there that day? Yes, I admit it because when we was broken up and I did let him come and visit. And you did have sex with him? No, I did not have sex with him. I just told him that because I wanted to get back at him because the, all the times he cheated and came in. And when, around my birthday, when I broke up with him and I asked him to work on our family, two days later he had sex with the girl and uh, some girl and he had the smell all on his face and he smelled like sex. So I just told him I had sex with my There's too many smells in this case. <laughs> I, I, mm, mm, mm. Jerome, this just some testimony I wish I didn't have to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Your ex-boyfriend did come to the house. Yes. But you say you didn't sleep with him. No, So Nancy. something is not adding up. Don't you agree, Jerome? I agree. Something's very smelly. shoes by your bed. You admit the house smelled like there was sexual intercourse going on, but you said your boyfriend was there, but you say that wasn't true because you were just trying to get back at him for cheating on you. Yes. Oh, okay. Mr. Flagg, how soon after this incident did she tell you she's pregnant? It was like one month later. One month? Yes. So the next, a month later, she says, I'm pregnant. Yeah. And you remember in the shoe incident? Yes. Do you remember how far along you were when you told him you were pregnant, Mr. Pree? Yes, almost two months. So you were just two months? Yes. So you're thinking as you look back through the dates, two months, that's about the time that this whole thing went down with the house and the smell and the shoes? Yes. So yeah. now that the babies are here, who is stepping up? Are you Mr. Flagg? Yes, I will step up, because... You will or you have been? 
I, I've been, yes, I have. No, I have been have stepping not. up. Though. You already know he have not. He, has, he have not did really nothing for the, for my kids. He only thing he bought was the car seats. Um, I did the whole baby shower. He only when he came, he came with one case of diapers, a blanket for each baby, some socks for um each baby, the face rags, and maybe two three outfits. And since we've been living together, he's just been buying diapers, and that's it. He when I was pregnant, he told me to buy the big stuff, and he was gonna buy the little stuff. And he won't do nothing. And I can see that hurts you. And yes, it do. And then when I, he, he was like, you need to get a job. So I got a job and I asked him to watch him. And I'll come home, he just leave him wet. So you submitted video evidence to the court. Yes, here it is. You say he just ignores the babies. This is what it looks like when he's supposedly taking care of the yes. babies. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Flagg, I mean, you got two twins. Are you somehow unconsciously, even if it's not on purpose, are you trying not to bond with these babies? Before I had kids, I was with this other woman. I'm going through the same thing like with this one. What do you mean? I had another uh, paternity test with, with another kid. You had another paternity situation? Yeah. With another woman? Yes. When she said, the baby ain't yours, I'm like, I can't, I can't, do, I can't do this no more. And I can see that really hurts you. I love those babies. It's just, I have always have doubts. It's just like, is it mine? I'm really sick of tired going through it. I really am. And I can see the tears in your eyes because this really bothers you. <laughs> this is what this is about. I really love these kids and I really want to marry Miss Dupree. And you're well, just so worried that if they're not your children, it's the end of a 13 year relationship, and again, it will be three children you thought in your lifetime were yours, and they no, ended up four. not being. Miss Dupree, do you worry that he will walk away from this if the twins are not his biological children? We had two miscarriages before this. You and did? And that hurt it, yes, and that's hurt it. And it just, like, they, God just gave me this blessing or two, and I always wanted kids, and that hurt it. And when he denied my kids, that makes me feel like he don't even care. And it just hurt. And I just want to get it over with and for his family to know. That's all right, sweetheart. I know. Both of you have been through so much. Miscarriages, paternity situations that didn't turn out the way you want. And always it's very wanna, emotional. And it's just like, my daddy wasn't there. So I don't want my kids to grow up without a father. Because I didn't grow up with I don't want them to go through that. I want my, you know what I'm saying, him to raise his son to be a man. I could raise my daughter to become a woman. I don't want them to go through what I've been through. You've been through a lot. And I understand how important these results are to you both and to the children. So there is so much riding on these results today. Yes, Your Honor. Are you ready for them? Yes, Your Honor. Because the twins are fraternal, we, of course, tested each child, all right? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Dupree versus Flag, when it comes to four-month-old twins, Sky Dupree Flag and Skylar Dupree Flag, it has been determined by this court Mr. Flagg, you are their father. Congratulations, Mr. Flagg. You happy? Yes, I'm very happy. And I probably want to do, a, do something else too. What would you like to do? I love you. Thank you. I mean, I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I love you. You my anything, everything. I would do anything for you. I would run across the world for you. Aww. Will you marry me?
all I have to say. After such a stinky start, <laughs> this ended up, we came out smelling like roses, I'll say it that way. And that's a good thing. And I don't mean to, to, to rain on the parade, but I'm a straight shooter and I, I wanna counsel you both that this is the beautiful part, getting engaged and professing your love, Mr. Flag. Yes. We've gotta back that up with the actions. And today's such a fantastic day because not only do you now know you have two beautiful twins, you all decided to start a life together as a family and give them everything you never had. If you both decide that you're gonna remain committed to it, you can't do anything but win. Ms. Laws, you have dragged your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Bailey, into court to prove to him that he is the father of your 19-month-old son, Josiah. You believe he is denying paternity because of his mother's doubts. You also claim that there is a chance that Mr. Bailey is the father of your four-year-old son, Jamari, who has another man's name on his birth certificate. Mr. Bailey, you say that you did not father either of Ms. Law's two sons and believe that their biological father is Ms. Law's boyfriend who passed away two years ago. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Laws, how did we get here today? Tell me about your relationship. Okay, so um, me and Mr. Bailey actually met in middle school and we kind of been like on and off. My mother stays in Arizona, so I left middle school and went to Arizona, and that's when me and Mr. Bailey broke up. And before coming back, I actually met Mr. Davis, and we was in a relationship for about two years. So when I came back, Mr. Bailey used to come up to my high school. You know, he never gave up on trying to get back with me because, you know, we left off in middle school. And me and Mr. Davis was actually intimate for a year and a half. I never got pregnant. So that night, the first night that I actually cheated and slept with Mr. Bailey, two months later, I find out I'm pregnant. So when you said, I'm pregnant, did you say immediately, I'm confused as to which man is the father, or did you tell one man he was the father? Actually, I told the both of them when I found out. You did? Yes, I did. So you told both men? Mm-hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Who was at the birth with you? Uh, Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis was at the birth yes, of your, your first child. Mm -hmm. Who is on the birth certificate for the first child? Mr. Davis. So Mr. Davis was on the birth certificate. So even though you say you were confused about the paternity, you led Mr. Davis to believe that he was the father? Yes, Your Honor. You did? Mm-hmm. Okay, so when I slept with Mr. Bailey, I was still in a relationship with Mr. Davis. Okay. It was a, a one-night thing. How is that even possible, though? We gonna find uh, out if it's We possible. have a lot of people here on this earth, Mr. Bailey. <laughs> Let me give you a news flash. They are products of one-night stands. It only takes once. Did you use protection on that one night? No. That's a recipe for making a baby. So, how old was Jamari when Mr. Davis passed away? He was two years old. He was two? Mm-hmm. Up until that time, Mr. Davis thought he was Jamari's biological father? Yes. Did his family accept the child? Yes. But you knew all the while, deep inside, that you had cheated on Mr. Davis with Mr. Bailey? Yes. And so, Mr. Davis passes away. At that point, do you tell someone about this secret? The only people who really knew was <clears throat> Mr. Bailey's, um, some of his family members. No. So, Mr. Bailey, you and your mom are here in court today? Yes, Your Honor. Do you remember hearing that she was pregnant with Jamari, an older child? No, I knew she was pregnant with Jamari. She was big, like, her stomach was already big and everything, and I was already, like, just seeing her and stuff, so that was already his baby. I was... I just don't understand. Oh, so you knew when she was pregnant. You saw her when she was, was pregnant with Jabari. You didn't think this was your child? No. Did she ever tell you this could no. be your child? No. So who did she tell you Jamari's father was? Corey. Okay, can Mr. I say something? Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis. Can I say something? Okay, so let me tell you. When I first found out I was pregnant, I didn't have the guts to even tell Corey that I cheated because I was like, you know, I was in love with that man. So when I told Mr. Bailey, I told him second after I told Mr. Davis. And what Mr. Bailey said was, that's, that's my baby. 
Hey, did you say that, Mr. Bailey? Did you say that's my baby? No, how I'm gonna Excuse say that? Him not... and his cousin was saying that. Excuse me, him and his cousin. Something. How am I gonna say, say that's my wait, baby? Because you know you I slept with me. Because you wait, know yeah, you slept with, with me. You, but that's not my baby. Can I say something? Hold on, Miss Laws. You told me yourself when I asked you, is that Mr. Bailey's son? You said no, it's not. I don't know. That's why I'm here. I don't know. I'm confused because I slept with the both of them, obviously. Right, but when I asked you, you told me no. I don't, so I don't, I do not remember that. Confused. He know what's good. He really okay. know what's good. He well, Ms. Laws, you did testify to the fact that you were fearful. And could it be possible that you did tell Ms. Nelson this is not your grandchild? Because I don't... you didn't want to open up that Pandora's box? I really don't even remember that. Did you ever tell Mr. Davis's family, that it was a possibility that he was not Jamari's biological father. Nobody know that. Nobody. Oh. I never oh. had the guts enough to even... Mm. You know what I mean? That's why I'm here today, honestly. Because I kept that secret for so long. I was young. I didn't know how to say it. It would hurt. You know what I mean? He dead now. So he's saying he don't know if he could be the dad. What he told me Friday was, if both of these kids come out mine, I'm going to marry you. You know what I mean? So why, why even sit here and lie like you don't even know it's a possibility? That jump getting on my nerves. Well, listen, I know you are upset and I know this is hard and I know this has been a lot of stress. You're a young woman and you've been keeping secrets and this is what secrets do to us. They tear us apart. Mm -hmm. They eat away at us. And this is an opportunity for you to not just tell your side, but also for Mr. Bailey and Ms. Nelson to tell what they understand. It's also time to tell the truth. And he needs to be... And I'm gonna give you that opportunity because Mr. Davis's sister is here in court. Mm. Uh -oh. And I'd like to have her be escorted in. Jerome? Ms. Collier, thank you so much for being here today. You're and please accept my sincerest condolences on the loss of your brother. Mm -hmm. I know that is very difficult. I have a few questions. Let's take a deep breath. Do you believe that your brother is Jamari's biological father? Yes. You do believe that? Yes. Can you tell the court why? Well, first, when my, my brother had first, was he was so happy, and then he told my mom that he has a baby on the way. And my family always thought Jamari was ours, regardless. Uh, Nicole never told us about Mr. Bailey. And I, I just, I don't know. I, oh so what you're saying is that you have never received information to the contrary that your brother was this child's biological father. You, you grew up, this is your nephew. Yeah. This is what your family feels was their yeah. grandchild. This is their nephew. Yeah. Uh, did your brother ever express any doubts to you? No. He was so happy that he had this first child on the way. When did you find out there was a possibility that Jamari may not be your brother's biological child? I never had that feeling because I, I was, like, happy with my brother, so I always thought that was my brother's son. So you didn't receive any information about that until you were asked to come to court? Mm-hmm. Mm. Really? Did your brother have any other children? Well, hopefully it'd be Josiah, because when my brother passed away, he said he had another baby on the way. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that would be Ms. Law's younger son, Josiah. Yeah. Am I correct? Mm hmm And for Josiah and Jamari to look alike, they, they have this... Yeah, you could tell they had the same dad. And you believe they look like your brother? Mm-hmm. He passed away believing he was both of the children's biological father. Mm -hmm. We know that on his headstone, you even have listed, in addition to being a loving son, grandson, you also put father. So until having to come to court, this is what your family believed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No other thing. No other thing. That's my first time ever hearing that. He thought he had another baby on the way. Miss Collier Watch just testified you know. that the reason why they believe that Josiah, the younger baby, was also their nephew, their grandson, is because Mr. Davis told them That's that. That's my first time ever hearing <laughs> that Mr. Davis thought that. I mean, Yana never told me that he thought that. He never said that he thought that. When he used to come pick up Jamari when he was sick and he seen me pregnant, he like, you know, this hurt my feelings. 
that's supposed to be my baby or you only supposed to have one baby by me. Being that he's passing, he never could accept the fact that I moved on. You know what I mean? So to see me pregnant, he was hurt, but he never said, that's my baby. I feel like that's my baby. And he couldn't have said it because he know and I know that we never slept around. So what was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Bailey when you got pregnant with Josiah? We was dating. He was staying at my house. Like, the only time he'll leave is if we arguing and I put him out and he come right back. You know what I mean? She real <laughs> sneaky. Every time I leave, ain't no telling what's up. Like, you confused about the first one, what's up with the second one? It okay. make me wonder, like... So you're yeah, saying because there's a... Because she's honest about the paternity question regarding Jamari, you feel like there potentially could be a paternity question relating to Josiah. Oh, because like I was saying, she would still, like, see him. Like she said, he would still come to her house. She would go see him. Anything's possible. Jamari was his baby. He'd he done more for... He'd done more for Jamari. Like, that he would want to be around Jamari than you ever wanted to be around Josiah. I even though me and you not mine. together... Like, even though me and you not together... Any kid. I gotta know that they're mine. Boy, you know that boy is yours. Until you said your mom... Until you said your mom was like, don't he just don't like, look like your daughter, just, then that's not your baby. Listen, just, so what? Just People like have different said, genes. Corey oh, what? Well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. What evidence do you have to prove that exactly. she potentially was sneaking around? Her phone. Like, her phone always locked up. And if she ended up do giving me the password, she ended up switching it, like, right away. Do you have any other proof that she was out sleeping with somebody else? If she's sneaky, I already got my doubts about her being sneaky, then I'm... Just because you were just cheating, don't trust I had to be cheating. My... So you I don't trust her? I stayed at home 24-7. You know I was I a homebody. You I always got to be out I doing don't. something. So we don't know for sure if Jamari is yours or Corey's because I made that one mistake with you. So we got that out the way. But what we don't got out the way is Josiah being your son. And he's definitely your son. And like I said, you're going to see today. You're going to see today. So, so Ms. Laws, just to be clear, you told him unequivocally that Josiah is his biological child. Yes, Your Honor. The question was about Jamar. Yes, Your Honor. But, Mr. Bailey, you believe, well, if it's a question about Jamari, then in my mind, there's a question about Josiah. Yeah. And that doubt is probably fueled by the fact that Ms. Collier has testified to the fact that her brother said before his passing that I have another baby on the way. Right. I'm confused, too. Seriously, because I don't so, know why he, would that. he wouldn't tell me that. I Miss mean, Collier, but after he... Had... Hold on! To, hold on. to be having sex or something. Quiet! Quiet. Had to see right now. I had Let's get before. some That's order. Let's get some order. Just calm quiet. down, Miss Law. Take a deep breath. Me, I'm ready to walk out. Take and you a can deep read breath. the results to him, because I already know the freaking results. Listen, oh, you walk so out of here, you walking out on your children's opportunity to know... Who he gonna hear it? Their they father. Hear it. I listen, hear it. listen, listen. You do need to hear it because you've already testified that you had a question and a secret that you held on to by yourself for all of these years, so much so that the man you say you love so much, his sister's sitting here, and she had no idea Mr. Bailey could potentially I be was her nephew's by... Old. So, what well, we heard that. We heard that already. What you want me to do? But just like, listen, listen. What I want you to do is just be quiet for a minute. Because the truth is, you're too young to have all these babies anyway. And that's mm-hmm. why you're in here popping right. off and you're crying and you're breaking down because you feel attacked. I, I, I don't feel attacked. You know you feel attacked by... That's my point. You he's feel lying. attacked because you feel like he's not telling the truth about you. But what I'm saying is the only way you get down to understanding why people believe what they believe about you is hearing what they have to say. Some stuff walking is out, different. walking out and running and yelling, that doesn't serve you and that doesn't serve your children. I think we are ready for the results. Jerome? We have two sets of results here today. The first is for Josiah. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Mr. Corey Davis, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Shante Barnwell, and the child, Josiah Laws. We also performed a DNA test between Mr. Jalik Bailey and the child, Josiah Laws. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Laws versus Bailey, pertaining to whether Mr. Bailey or Mr. Davis is the father of 19-month-old Josiah Laws, 
It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Bailey. So, after all of the doubt, we now know Josiah is your son. Okay. How do you feel? Cool. I feel a lot better now. Ain't nothing going That thing. you know? Yeah, I feel a lot better I know now. Yes, Your Honor. Let's get the next result. In the case of Laws versus Bailey, pertaining to whether Mr. Bailey or Mr. Davis is the father of four-year-old Jamari Laws. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Bailey. <laughs> oh. I'm very sorry, Miss Collier. He's still gonna be my nephew because I had that bond with Jamari. Mr. Bailey, how do you feel to know that Jamari is also your biological child? It's, it, it, it just blew me away, honestly. I'm gone, like, oh my God. You're like Seriously? in shock. Yes. You have an opportunity now to change the course of these two beautiful boys' lives by letting them know their father, have love from their father, support from their father, and have the presence of their father in their life. You can change the course of their life. I, I want you to start working on, in your mind, That's not a how you can be a president. So you're gonna step up and you're gonna do the right thing. Yeah. I love that.